Good day, good day, everyone. How are you doing, guys? How are you doing? Today, patch 13.2 dropped. 13.2, and a lot of things have changed over on the submarine side of things. So I'd like to have a look at that, see what changed, see what you have to change. So here we go. Submarine changes. New torpedo feature. All submarine torpedoes will now deal reduced damage within the first few kilometers they travel, up to 2.9 kilometer. It will only deal 10% damage while from 2.9 to 3 km. Um, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> we'll see it later. The damage will scale up to 100%. Um, I believe this difference, not from 2.9 to 3, is from 0 to 2.9 km. And 3 is the maximum damage. I believe that is poorly written here. Um, <laughs> the scaling will present, prevent scenarios where a single meter difference could result in drastically different damage. Yes. So this is a, a slow scale up. Due to the minimal damage they can now inflict at point blank ranges. The armor distance for submarine alternative torpedoes, those are the heavy hitters, non homing torpedoes, will be reduced to approximately 400 meters. This armor distance here will be reduced so that both torpedo sets have uh, the same armor distance as, uh, as each other. So that has been buffed, I guess, which is good. I really think it's a bad change, but it's good it's buffed. Due to the minimal damage they can now inflict at point blank ranges, the arm distance of for submarine ultra torpedoes will be reduced to approximately 400 meters, like acoustic homing torpedoes. There used to be a difference where this uh, this line here, where the arm distance is of your torpedoes, will be further away for non-homing torpedoes that will be in homing torpedoes. That has been removed, it seems. This will serve to make close range shotgun attacks harder to execute, while simultaneously allowing players to use depth charges more safely in close combat engagements against submarines. This change is really, really bad, because submarines now no longer can defend themselves from being rushed at. So submarines are already weak and vulnerable against people rushing in. That's very really hard to deal with. And now they get even more nerfed to that. And a damage of 1.2k is not nearly enough to kill, a to kill a DD. Not nearly. So you can no longer kill DDs who rush towards you. You can't. You can't defend yourself anymore. So, nice. This all gets the, the shotgunning problem. Let me let me tell you this. The shotgunning problem is not an existing problem for submarines. It is an existing problem for only the Gato and the Gato alone. People try to play mostly as safe as possible, as consistent as possible with damage. That's what most people do. Case in point, battleships firing from the blue line because they have the range. They do less damage, they hit less shells, but are safe, so they can keep farming, they keep doing it. Submarine players are not different. If they can do it from safe distance, while doing decent amount of damage, they will do that. The Gato is designed in a stupid way. The one way to counter submarines, the one counter play you have is using that solar mechanic. You can get spotted from, uh, you can get spotted on the surface, it gives you a direction where the submarine is going to, and it also gives you a ping on your ship with a direction of where the ping came from. All things to indicate on the surface ship where the submarine is to give them a chance of counter play. And now they introduce that, yeah there it is, with the new direction thing here. All things based on ping mechanics. Then comes Gato. Gato's sonar range is um, 6 kilometers, which is really short range on uh, tier 10s. Also, the homing torpedoes, let's have a quick look at them, shall we? The homing torpedoes, yeah, they go 93 knots. Seems good, right? Seems good. It is absolutely trash, because at 6 kilometer radius means the target has to be close. Targets which you want to aim at that range are usually DDs or uh, other submarines. That's why you want to use those home torpedoes on. And at that distance, they are very maneuverable. They can outturn those torpedoes because they go so fast, they cannot make a turn to actually home in on the targets. A gate hook does not want to fight another submarine. If it has to do, it will try to, and it can do it, but it's not a submarine that is good at submarine hunting. So it tries to evade that. So you're trying to, in, in the gate, you incentivize to evade enemy, enemy submarines because it's not good at fighting them, therefore removing one um, submarine surveillance from the, from the equation. It is then incentivized to use the long-range torpedoes. Damage on the normal torpedoes is 10k versus 20k. I mean, the, the home torpedoes do okay damage, fair enough, okay damage, but you still want to use your alternative torpedoes because they have the range, they can hit things, and they do way more damage per torpedo. And we all know that torpedoes, non-homing ones, 
are more accurate, reliable when you get closer. So Gato is incentivized to not use homing, to not use sonar pings. It's incentivized to get as close as possible, because that's the highest payout. And therefore, it, it bypasses all mechanics for counterplay. This is a stupid design. Of course, combine that with that the Gato is pretty stealthy and pretty fast. 5.8, so pretty stealthy. It's a gearing level stealth. Yeah, your speed. 35 knots on the surface, so you can get pretty close. And then underwater, 17.9. So you can get relatively close to enemies, the 5.8 kilometers away. With your maximum speed of 30 knots. And then you go under, and then you go for 17.9 knots. If something comes towards you, that's a lot easier. And you just can, can grab them. So, yeah, the Gato is designed such a way that you avoid all counterplay. Gato is a problem, not shotgunning. Also, the damage on those torpedoes is insane. So, uh, that's my point. So, that out of the way, please pay attention. Due to technical reasons, the UI of submarines will show 2.9km as the range at which torpedoes reach maximum damage. However, the damage will actually gradually increase from 29 and only reach 100% damage at 3km. Um, I think this is not 2.9 to, to 3. I think it is 0 km to 3 km. I think they just miss, missed it again. I hope it is not. Uh, it might be. Wargaming is has made mistakes like this before. Let's hope it is not that. Let's hope this is wrong. I can't see the distance here. Oh, it's 2 km. This is 5 km. Yeah, that's 2 km. You do 1.9. I, I want to see 2.0 to 2.5. Let's see if there's damage increase or just instantly, bam, no damage. Underwater visibility. Formerly, a submarine would have to enter binocular view to use hydrophone or use hydrophone to clearly see underwater terrain. In update 13.1, we made changes to hydrophone and reduced the consumable duration significantly. Absolutely crushed the entire consumable. Consumable is barely usable now. Before the change, the sonic wave that revealed underwater terrain was tied to this consumable. It was this, uh, this wave you see here. Kind of nice effect though. Now the sonic wave instead triggered the the horn. Um, this used to be a feature back in one of the test phases, and for no reason whatsoever they removed it. It's nice to see the water stuff, because if you go between islands, some maps have very uh, murky water. You can't see the rocks until you're right up to them. So this should have been the game for a long time, so I don't know why they removed it once, but it's it's back. And they need to keep this. Do not remove it again, Wargaming. Please don't do it. Ping indicator movements, as I just showed you. When a submarine emits sonar ping, a visible indicator appears on the water surface. We now improve the direction indicator, giving place an approximate direction of travel to the submarine at the time of pinging. Very good change, it makes it easy to get those uh, bombs off. Normally when people aim for something, they need to see where the ship is. They need to see the, the range and they need to see the speed. You can't see the submarine usually, but you can now see the, at least see the range and the speed, and since you're Bombs are AOE, you have a far higher chance of hitting, and you can estimate where the, where the submarine is going. I like that. Uh, in conjunction with the last time's update where submarines get a better rudder shift, which I'm not a fan of, um, this is necessary. This is necessary. But you will receive a lot more bombs on your face. Improved pro submarine proximity alert. I absolutely hate that. This is a stupid thing. This whole thing should be thrown to the garbage bin. In rare cases, submarines collide with no warning due to a lack of sure detection of other submarines while in the water. No, in rare cases, you had a hilarious moment where you just randomly ran the submarine and was like, what the fuck, there was someone here. It was awesome, it was funny, it was a rare occasion, superly rare, and you could, uh, you, it would happen sometimes when you're trying to get past the enemy submarine and use your uh, submarine's um, non-detection to sneak past the enemy, which is a fun game mechanic. It's nice to do it. And since you're both submarines, that's just a fair thing to do. To fix this, which it shouldn't have fixed at all, the proximity alert is receiving new audio and visual effects to warn players when they are close to another submarine while submerged. This is spotting for spotting's sake. There's no fun in this. It actually removes a fun gameplay mechanic. There is no benefit because you do not know the direction of the enemy submarine. You can't see the submarine. There is only for there's only warning of there is someone here. This this thing here, in rare cases, submarines collide with no warning due to lack of assured detection. Now we have in rare cases, submarines collide with uh, with warning because you will still don't know where they are. You will still sail into them. That, that, that this fixes nothing. It only removes a fun game mechanic. That's what it does. Stupid. And they make it now more annoying. <laughs> more sound effects and more visual effects. Oh no. Ugh. 
Bigger. Submarine upgrade changes. Uh, this one is big. This one is big. As part of the improvements to and overall submarine mechanics, several changes are being made to submarine upgrades. Submarine steering gears modification 3 will be removed from the game. I always use this. It's a big nerf. Damage control system will... Uh, actually... Yeah, it's a big nerf because it's also influenced, I believe, your diving planes. So not just going left and right, also up and down was, was improved. So if that's removed, then that will be you have a harder time going underwater when there is, for example, planes coming in. Your reaction time will still be slower, which is pretty awful. Damage control system modification 1 and torpedo lookout system will be removed from submarines, but will remain as an option for other ship types. Um, I always use this, so that's nasty. Risk of flooding minus 3%, catching fire minus 5%. This, this makes sure that you can have a, um, a not a flood on you when you get hit by a bomb. It gives you a 70, sorry, a 97% chance of risk of flooding instead of a 100% chance. There is a small chance you don't get flooded, which is very nice for submarines. It is worth taking. To be look at system, no one ever takes it in any ship. Solar modification 2 will be moved from slot 3 to slot 2. Okay. Uh, sort of pink velocity. Ah, okay. Don't think I ever used that. Any of the above mentioned upgrades that are mounted on submarines at the moment of the update release will be demounted at no cost and removed from players' accounts. Compensation will be issued according to the full prices. So you do get you do get your credits back. Although it won't be shown, it's just you get your credits back unseen. Additionally, for every instance of solar modification 2 stored in a player's inventory, a quarter of a million credits will be added to their account. As this upgrade has been moved to cheap slot. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So get some money back because it's now a cheaper modification. Fair enough. I think I used it on every single... No, solar modification I don't think I used. Submarine steering gears modification 3 will be removed from player's inventories at full compensation will be provided. Cool. Submarine Steering Gears Modification 2 is being renamed Submarine Steering Gears and its parameter will be changed to the following. Rudder Shift, minus 50, Diving Shame, Blip minus 50. Okay, let's have a look then. So, the Steering Gears Modification 3 is removed. That's a 40% on uh, Diving Plane and Rudder Shift. So we had 2 and 3, and 3 is removed. So what did 2 do? Okay, we got our Rudder Shift Time and Diving Plane Shift Time. This is uh, Submarine Steering Gears, the new one, 50%. We don't have another option anymore. I don't know what the old numbers were. But we can look it up as something else, of course. Um, let's go... Not the of course. Uh, here, you. So, what's here? Not this one. There, steering gears. Ske steering gears was uh, repair time and rudder shift. Rudder shift was also the same on the plane shift. So, 40%... 40, 40, 80 would it be, I guess. Okay. And now we're going to um, 50, 50 and no repair. Okay, fair enough. Enough. So we got some new stuff to use here. Um, I lost my uh, damage control party, and then we get damage control system modification three. Fire damage minus five percent flung damage. So it removes the damage. It no longer reduces the chances of getting a fire or flood. It now reduces the damage you take, which is not worth it. The chance of not getting a flood would be well, was awesome. That you now always get a flood is awful. So now we have to run these flags here. And those extinguishing time. And flooding. So there is no way to reduce the chances of getting that flood or fire. That's pretty messed up because that's the thing that kills submarines already most of the time. So major, major nerf. I mean, the 5%, 5% is not worth anything. I rather... So the pink velocity... Engine room protection. Engine room... I don't think my engine ever broke on a submarine. And I mean, ever. And I've played 3,000 games in them. Your, your, your engine doesn't break. Your rudder doesn't break. So this is, this is absolutely useless. So, yeah, out of the two batch options, I mean, 10% increased solar pink velocity is nice, but it, it, this, is a, it, this is a skill issue. If you need this, you're just not skilled enough. You do need to practice more. And now you don't need this. So this is just... I, I, I'm too lazy to learn it, basically. That's what this, this is. So I'll take this because there is no other option. But good? No. <laughs> and since I can no longer use uh, steering gears here, I put here consumables, I guess. I just do that, I did it for the, for the thing started. We got now consumable modification 1. Ship consumable action time plus 
Submarine Warfare, Submarine for a Submarine, is about two consumables. It's about your damage control party being as long as possible active, which uh, on the um, American ones is a base of 15 seconds. That's why I'm running uh, Damage Control Party 1 as well. So uh, you want this to be as high as possible, or you want to have your um, Submarine Surveillance up as long as possible with the shortest possible cooldown, especially preparation time. So Consumables is a really good option here. 7% um, more damage. Sounds nice. Don't think you need it on most submarines. Uh, you could take it, but this, this saves your ass more often than this will. And you will do your damage anyway. But if you're hugging for that number, you can die a bit more often for a bit more damage, I guess. What you want. Uh, reinforced bulkheads. Damage take from depth charge minus 50%. Um, the damage you take from, sub from depth charge is a lot. But when you take damage from depth charges, either you die or you don't. Which is what I mean. You get spotted by a bunch of enemies who all bomb you and this, this thing doesn't matter. Or you get bombed by one guy and you would... 90% of the time still survive anyway. So... It seems nice. I don't think you need it. The most damage you take is usually from shells and torpedoes. And the bombs is usually... They usually do the fire and flooding is damage. Not the actual damage from the bomb itself. They do damage and they're nasty, but... That's a you are the die, you don't die situation. So I don't think this is necessary. But take it your own uh, leisure. I'm going for consumable modification here. This keeps me alive. It, 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 it reduces literally the damage I take from fires and stuff. And it also gives me submarine surveillance. And it gives me, well, the bad thing which I never use. <laughs> I never use this, it's awful. And this of course one second doesn't get improved. So, yeah, I'll go for... Um, Ship consumables here. That's my choice. So this would be my submarine choice for uh, non non German subs. On the German subs, however, because you only have a five second uh, damage control party on the German subs. Let's have a look. Germany. Oh, yeah, I can just do this. Way easier. Uh, wrong. Ah, yes. So here we go. Um, of course, we couldn't. Uh, the control party modification one doesn't work, or it doesn't matter on the five second action time, so not worth uh, having. I've sold modifications since um, I, I rather my sonar being there than my torpedoes, since they don't re they don't break that often, and even if they break, it's only one or two out of the six you have in front, so yeah, that's fine. But your sonar you need for every homing thing, so. Um, oh. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! Reserve battery unit notification. The best submarine consumable in the game can now be buffed to even better. Instead of useless, absolutely useless, a skill issue, meh, insanely good. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's no choice. <laughs> That's a mandatory fuck yeah. Uh, and, with, and with discounts. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's a no-brainer. Bam. That's easy. The, the Americans don't get that, of course. Don't do they? No, they don't. They don't get this improved. No, no, no. They're the horrible consumer which no one uses. They don't get it improved. No, of course. Yeah. So they get a horrible... That they at least get a um, get a shoe ball, and it's I never use it ever. It's it's only diving plane shift time, so it will help you when there is an enemy carrier coming in and you were too late with diving. You can activate it and now you are just in time. Or it will help you against an enemy submarine to dodge out torpedoes. It's the, the two only two things you want to use this in. Beyond that, it's useless. For uh, in exchange for um, an improved version of oh shit, I am going to be spotted. I want to get so now 36 six seconds more time on the water. Hell yeah, that's useful against any opponent at most any time and will literally save your life almost every time you use it. Versus sometimes, maybe, perhaps, yeah. <laughs> This is <laughs> the Germans got even better, even better than the war. We're already insane. Uh, that means this one, ten percent up, will apply. We got now thirty-six, so it should now be thirty-nine seconds. No, 
It doesn't. It doesn't affect that. Action time. Action time does not. Doesn't improve this. I. Mm. I need to know now. Uh, we have another German somewhere. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one. So let's see. 30 seconds. Action time 40 seconds. And 60. 60. 30. 40. Not improved. Not improved. Not improved. So, okay. It does, I believe, improve damage control party. I need to look it up with another sub -reader. And luckily we have another sub to test it on. Um, it cancelled, it cancelled. So, we want to know if the damage control party is improved, right? But we can't see it on this one, of course. Let's take a American one. Uh, 22.1 seconds. Does this do anything? No. So this is non-functional submarine, it seems. Which is absolutely weird. Okay, so this one is uh, useless too. Okay, so um, yeah. I'll take that then. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh man, they don't test their stuff, do they? This should work on all consumable action time. It says so. And then it doesn't apply. Thank you, Wargaming. Okay, good to be noted. An an another myth found. Um, this one, unfortunately, it's really useful in submarines if it would work. But it doesn't. So there we go. Um, of course, one more of these, because these are fucking insane. The best consumable, and you just get more time on it. It's just... It, I, it, I don't have words. <laughs> And the weird thing is, you have insanely good consumable. Meh consumable. This one would be better and useful when it also had rudder shift time on it. Then this would be good. It would actually be really good. Because submarines have a hard time turning. Even with the turning buff, better turning is very good. But it's only diving plane shift time. So, yeah. You go and you go up and down faster, not to, si not to side. So... If it had that turning circle, it would be on par. No, not. It would be close to being on par. And then, of course, you have, they have the poor, the, the the poor British with just nothing, and limited amount of these, and nothing, and no bonus whatsoever to make it up for it. So, <laughs> balance. What is this? What is balance? Anyway, we we looked into these things. Good to know. Um, I think we got a nerf of ten percent because I think it was. 20 and 40%, so to get a 60%, but 50% is workable. So, okay, where were we? As mentioned before, in parallel with addressing issues with submarines, one of her goals was to maintain the same level of effectiveness for the ship class. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Therefore, balance sheets have been applied to all alternate torpedoes and to the acoustic home torpedoes of the British submarines in the tech tree. Okay. The damage of ultimate torpedoes have been increased by 15% and damage of acoustic home torpedoes of the British Tech 3 has been increased by 5. Oh, wait, the British Tech 3. Which only has homing torpedoes. Homing torpedoes. Homing torpedoes. There are no non-homing torpedoes. The damage of the alto torpedoes. There are no alto torpedoes. War gaming. Do you play your own game? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because there is the alliance here. Uh, the alliance has them. The alliance has them. Yes, the alliance has them. So that's that's what the change is for. But the main line, nothing. None of them. So you get a five percent damage increase on these. Five percent. So now do 5.7k. Yes, 5.7k. I mean, these torpedoes are awful anyway. Did this ship? Don't get this ship. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. Sturdy is way better than that thing. People thought this thing was OP. It has increased uh, superior homing, which already the Amer uh, English have slightly better homing than the other nations. This one has insane homing, but with 44 no torpedoes, no one gets hit by them unless you're absolutely point blank range. Yeah. 
Don't no take the submarine. The ship is all fine. Torpedoes, awful, awful. Don't do it. Waste of your time and money. The normal line's way better. But uh, yeah, you get a 5% damage increase on the homing torpedoes. Yay. The range of the auto torpedoes found on the German tech tree line has been increased to allow for the use outside of close range engagements. Ah. Now, why only the Germans and not the Americans? Let's see, the Germans, let's get a 251 here. Now has a new range, uh, there we go, of 8 km, used to be 6.7, so pretty good range increase, um, and still absolutely fucking slow, 65 knots. I don't think you'll hit many things with that. I mean, I've been at 3 km ranges of enemies, launched these torpedoes and hit nothing. So, yeah. If people pay attention and know roughly where you are, are maneuvering, you will hit zero of these. So, yeah. I mean, longer range will not give more accuracy or anything, so yeah. Okay, it's above, I guess. It's above. And then we go to the non-broken ones. Um, these don't have them. Just eight set up. Oh, nine kilometer range. So they, they already had reasons range on them. Uh, 10 kilometer range. I never used these, I always used the homies, but they exist. 17k per... 7k per... It's, it's because, at range, these things are inconsistent. Knowing any DD play, the more range you have in torpedoes, the less less likely they are to hit, usually. Um, especially single launch torpedoes, so... Eh, they can do it, I guess. They can do it, I guess. And that's how we... Now we've seen everything of the new submarine changes. Um, yeah. Interesting changes. Uh, not a big fan of a few of them. I mean, this one is uh, absolutely trash for, for most players. Because you cannot defend yourself. That's the problem. It's like, we're going for a drive-by in my freaking curve first. And suddenly, because I'm too close, my guns don't do damage anymore. It, that, that's what you have here. Yeah. <laughs> so, not a fan of that. The visibility is awesome, I love this. This is needed. This is absolutely needed. Not this map, of course. This map is easy to see. But some maps are really in uh, invisible in the water because it's just too dark, too, uh, too murky. I like this change. It makes it easier for people to anticipate where, where submarines are going. Um, gives them a bit more chance to get those bombs off. I think that's great. Um, yeah, the, the, the modules, we'll see. We'll see. It feels a bit like a nerf, since most modules don't work on submarines. The important ones don't work. And the other ones are not important, so yeah. Um, yeah, and you get a 5% damage buff on your English submarines. Okay. Um, it will be an interesting patch. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I'll um, post more videos, show off what happens. I'll be live in... Uh, Ah, 40 minutes. So, if you watch this video, I'll probably be live at the moment you watch this video. So, anyways, if you like this kind of content, if you um, enjoyed this, um, please sub, please follow. And I'm live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash Um I think I put a link in the description somewhere, I'm pretty sure. LZ, you should have seen it up there. Some It just shows up here, sometimes, randomly. Anyways, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.